everyone. Happy Sunday. I am about to redo um, a project that I had started some time ago and didn't like the way it turned out. So I sanded it down. Um, I recoated it with some spray paint. And we're going to give another go at making um, a beach scene. So bear with me for a moment while I mix up uh, everything we need to. We're going to be using Stone Coat Countertop Art Coat. Uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. You can see first part's in, it's quite thick. Ooh, and a messy, messy, messy today. Let's get that back in there. Now I pre-laid out uh, my cups that I'm going to be working with. I am using three shades of resin art. I have got African Sky, Blue Moon, and Mermaid. I am using a dark turquoise from Color Obsession. And I'm going to use uh, titanium white from Just Resin. Um, bear with me here while I mix up our stuff. Um, prepping the Just uh, the Resin Art tints. Um, they are a dry tint system, so you would take the powder and mix it into 91% alcohol until it liquefies. This helps break down and then it will mix very nicely into our resin once I get this set up. So again we're just mixing and making sure we're scraping our sides, our bottom, Still pretty white as I'm letting it pour I can see um, where the two sections have not mixed so I'm gonna keep mixing here I know, nothing worse than dead airspace. All right, this is starting to look a little better. Our weather here has been absolutely insane. Yesterday we got eight inches of snow, and yes, it is April, 
in Chicago. Um, today, all of that is gone, and it's in the 50s. So, we can't quite figure out uh, what's going on with all that, but we're over it. Some nice weather, please. All right. So, first I am going to... white. like a pretty good consistency. I may add a little more resin into that, but for right now, let's just let that mix. And put it down over there. Then let's do our dark turquoise. This color is just gorgeous. not use all of these colors. This is the first time I'm, I'm really getting to play with this dark turquoise and I'm just loving it. Just want to see what a little bit of this will look like. This is Resin Art Mermaid with a little bit of the Blue Moon. So once you liquefy these colors, you can kind of customize them to what you're looking for. So. All right. And then I want to just put a nice little layer of some resin over my painting. Um, I particularly want to cover this sand section because I want to get um, some of the illusion of depth where this is on the bottom and the water is going to be coming on top. Um, having a little coat here helps everything flow a little smoother. And I'm going to give a little bit of heat to this just so it works. Is 
So first I'm going to add a little bit of heat. Get some of our bubbles out of this. We want to start with a nice smooth base. And it's important that when we do the heat, we are not cooking our resin, so we do not want to be uh, too close. This is just one of those I do with my hand kind of things. Uh, there are other tools, but I kind of like uh, the way this works out. Need a little more. I think you can already see what the first layer does to the bottom color and bringing out some of that depth. Uh, I don't want to use any resin, so I will coat my sides a little bit. And I do plan to let this run off. have an observer in the studio. Hello, husband. No, I'm not here. I'm just an apparition of this uh, beautiful process happening at the moment. And as she said, you don't want to cook it. You just want to heat it up and get the bubbles out. That is true. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, it looks like a beach. Hey, well then that's going good. All right then. <laughs> so far, so good. Dinner will be ready soon, my dear. Thank you, husband. All right. Let's start with getting some of this gorgeous turquoise. working this into some of that clear um, just because I want to see what effect I'm going to get with it. So first I want to try to incorporate these two colors together with the heat gun. So we're just going to warm it all up. And the heat and the air 
to help give this water movement. And we don't want to heat it up too much where all of our beautiful product goes over the edge, but we do want some coverage. liking the way this is coming together. around a little bit. So now I want to give it a little more of this deep turquoise. create some lacing and cells going on here. this warmed up and see what's going to happen.
actually going to try this upside down because I think it's blowing from the other direction. May give me a little more of what the effect I'm looking for is. So hopefully this is back in focus. Excellent. I always have a wipe rag with some alcohol on it. Just give my hands a quick wipe before I start touching tools. So to get the cells, I am moving the blue and dark turquoise over the white. Tip this a little bit. So waves usually come in in a direction. So we want to try to mimic that. Uh, hopefully you can hear me over this dryer. get a little more coverage of this dark maroon and I can do that by tinting the rest of my resin adding it to that and I'm going to add a little more to this white okay quick mix so now of this deep turquoise going. And I'm wearing this along where I've ran my white. And then we're going to mix again. Here. I'm going to 
bubbles are popping. So you can see I don't have this on super high. See my cells starting to pop up here. And I'm just slowly moving the blue over the white. kick it up a bit because I want to spread some of the back stuff. Okay, so what I just did there is bad. I do not want to vaporize this. And I happen to have touched it into my resin and it is smoking and making a horrible smell. So we're going to take that up a little bit. Please make sure that you are wearing proper protective clothing. looking at. I think I do want to add, well, let's see here. I've got some of this deeper color coming up down here. And I think I want to add some of that. This deeper, more uh, pearlescent blue, which is the mix of mermaid and blue moon up here. where we are with this. Um, I let everything dry uh, and I didn't 
quite like some of the depth that I was getting. So I did a light fog of our beach color again and a light fog of that first teal that we put down. Um, now I want to do a nice top coat um, and just tint it slightly with the resin, even, even slightly less tint than that. And I want to try using some of the stone coat base coat for the wave effect. So we're going to see how that works as well. So I'm going to get some gloves on. ATD stir stick. So, love these things. They're sturdy, they're reusable, less waste. Um, I use them for mixing my resin. I do for some of my resin work. Uh, as always, I'm going to be using a stone coat art coat. And I am going to be mixing four ounces, so two ounces of each. And I know I am probably off camera at the moment. I do apologize, but all I'm doing is pouring resin into a measuring cup. to uh, listen to me babble during this part. Um, while I'm mixing this, I do have another, believe it or not, another beach scene. I can show you here um, that I need to do a top coat on. The scratching, I had taken a layer down. Um, something had gotten into it as it was drying. So I pretty much sanded it down, and uh, if I have any leftovers from this, um, we may get a twofer and see me do this one as well. checking my little drizzle here to see if it is getting mixed. I'm not seeing any white lines. Let's get a couple more stirs, get my sides, get my bottom. So I'm using Color Obsession Dark Turquoise. I cannot wait to get this in a larger size from ATD. 
They are my one-stop shop for all of my resin needs. Uh, great couple, great service, just all around great people. Enough said. Uh, just using a little bit of this tint because I don't want it to take over the other colors that I have here. I just want to use it to soften some of this that I have going on. So I can always add more. Let's start out with less. So just a little bit and I'm just incorporating it. And if I need to, I can mix this into one, some into one of these and even cut it a little more. So you can see we've got this nice turquoisey green going on. And I think that's fine for um, more of these upper areas. Let's see. I think once we thin that down a bit. I think we're going to add a lot more resin. Let's add this in. Now hopefully the combination of the thinned and the dark will give us also some motion. So I'm not really mixing this in the clear super strongly into this because I want some patches to be even a little more than the others. So I'm going to close up my tint because I will tip it over or contaminate it in some way, shape, or form. Um, other thing I need is a little of our base coat. Apologize. Struggle with my hands a bit, so bear with me. Um, what I do with the stone coat base tints is I always leave this on. And it seems to keep the seal, and I don't have any trouble with paint drying out or any of the other issues that I see um, some people online talking about. So hopefully that will help um, for anyone who is having some trouble. I am again slightly off camera. I'm just giving this a nice stir. I'm getting almost all the excess off of my spoon because I don't need a lot of this. and right now I still ended up getting too much in so I am going to actually use this pour it in here and then I'm going to add more clear into this I recently had someone ask how do I decide what I'm going to do? 
and I basically will start with an idea. Um, but I think when you're working with more some more of the fluid arts, um, you have to leave yourself a little more flexible. Um, and really listen to what the picture is developing and you work with it to create with the way the fluid is going. Um, so I think it's a combination of idea and intent as well as recognition of, hey, I like, this isn't what I was thinking, but boy, that's incredible, and moving with it. So we're going to give that a try. I am going to put down some of this clear resin on the bottom here. And I'm just using, again, my ATD stir stick just to help me spread this a bit. Functional tool. much more careful than I was yesterday because I got way too close with my heat gun. So let's hope to avoid that today. Okay. okay. I think that's just some of the texture coming up. So Let's get this down. So far I'm liking. Let's add a little more of this clear. And then I have this Catalyst W06 wedge that I can use to just help me Spread these together. I don't know if the screen is picking up all this amazing color. But this is looking really good. Oh, 
can see them popping on the screen. Try putting down some of this clear white mixture. already see some cells forming. I am so happy right now. adding a little turquoise to some of the holes in here before I begin to try to give this some movement. Alright, here we go gang! I just want a little more
couple things I'm seeing here. Something dropped in here, so I need to take that out. some drops to thin it out in some spots. The ocean isn't perfectly blue. Um, there are little segments of seaweed and coral and whatever else you may have. of something. I don't know if the camera angle can pick that up or not. Right in here. So the reason if you see me, I'm actually placing this all the way through the bottom layer is I want to make sure I can get some of that turquoise to move over the top.
and I'm just getting a little movement back into this. not really loving right now is through here. Got to looking a little too well organized you might say. turquoise. Then I'm just running across to add a little more fluidity. 